Hello everyone. We, the students of Christian Medical College, Vellore, are here to put forward our project, a very innovative and a practical one to counter antimicrobial resistance in a country like India. You have a disease, and you took a drug to treat it. Now you have the same disease, and the drug stops working on you. It's bad, right? But you know what's worse? Even the highest dose of the highest drug can stop working on you. Believe it or not, it's happening, and that is AMR, the ability of a microbe to resist the drug that once could have successfully treated you. In a low resource setting to counteract this problem, we introduce you a four-dimensional project, Habit. We are going to tell you more about this project in next few minutes. The first and the most important dimension is the health education. We propose to achieve this dimension by three important concepts. First and the most important concept is the antimicrobial resistance activists, also AMRA, AMRA workers. AMRA are the people chosen from within the community. They would help us to tackle this problem at the grassroots level and also bridge the gap between the community and the doctors. What do the AMRA workers do? They educate the community regarding the antimicrobial drug usage. They visit all the households regularly. They identify individuals who are at risk of high consumption, and they monitor the progress using Vikas cards. The second component is a Vikas card. These are cost-effective, user-friendly tools that are easy to distribute, track, and interpret the antimicrobial use amongst the community. It is a very good surveillance tool. It looks something like this. The last component is. The drug habit map. It's just a pictorial representation of the data obtained from the Vikas cards. It's instrumental in denoting the risk high priority areas. For example, the red areas would mean high consumption areas. The orange areas would mean nearly high consumption areas, and the green areas would mean low consumption areas. The second component is adequate administration. Pharmacies play a key role in AMR. This is mainly to avoid the surge of over-the-counter drug dispensing. How do we aim to achieve this? First, by reinforcing the updation of drug registers. Second, by conduction of regular audits. And third, by ensuring penalties are provided for non-compliant dispensers. How can this help? Governmental accreditation and recognition of these pharmacies as AMR ambassadors will help to create a sense of trust among customers. And thereby promote reduction in AMR. The third component is behavioral intervention. These interventions involve the activation of pre-existing social relations within the network to pass on information, awareness, and promote behavior change. There are four types of social network interventions. First, individual network interventions, which target individuals to act as propagators of change in KAP practices. Second. Segmentation network interventions that target groups of people clustered within a certain network. Third, induction network interventions, which involve the activation of pre-existing social relations within a social network to disseminate information. And fourth, alteration network interventions, which function by altering the existing social network. Mobile phones have become an integral part of our lives. We propose a model of communication through text messages and radio in order to update the citizens regarding the visits of the AMRA workers, common symptoms of infectious diseases, and to avoid antibiotics without prescriptions. We hope to achieve this through integration and partnership with the National Communication Authority, which in India is the Ministry of Communication or the All India Radio. We hope to achieve education and awareness regarding common infectious diseases, the ro their role in antibiotics, uh, antimicrobial resistance, its burden and impact on the community. However, challenges arise in a low resource setting where uh, appropriate maintenance of records and training adequate manpower can be a challenge. In conclusion, through this project, we aim to uh, educate and inform the masses regarding informed consumption of antibiotics and collaboration with the government is imperative to make this effective. We also want to stress on the importance of adherence to prescription and to avoid over-the-counter antibiotic use. We hope that this sparks an innovative idea in all the minds which seek a response to 